there are a couple other modifiers that I want to demonstrate and let's scale this up a little tad. I'm just going to draw a rectangle and extrude. Those are the twist and the bend modifiers. So I'm just going to create a simple surface here. I'm going to do a subsurface selection and I'm just going to scale this down so this becomes this tapered cylinder. Actually, let's turn this on. I'm going to use a couple modifiers here. The first one is the twist modifier. I'm going to turn on the center object snap. I'm going to hover over my rectangle, select my center point, and then I'm going to hold control and click on that center point because what I want is a vertical line going straight up from my surface. And so now what it's going to ask me for uh, an angle or a reference point. And so I'm just going to hold shift and select a reference point. And then I'm just going to slowly move my cursor around my viewport. And you can see that in the preview window, it's actually twisting my geometry. So I can keep twisting this and twisting this and twisting this. There's no limit to how much I can twist this thing. So I just did this crazy corkscrew thing. I did a lot of twists. Let's not twist it that much. I'm going to do another twist here. I'm going to click on the center and hit control. And then I'm just going to do a couple twists. So now I have this kind of twisting tapered thing. The other modifier that we can use is the bend command. The bend command works similarly in that you're going to specify a start of a spine. I'm going to hit control to go up and then you're going to specify a point somewhere on the construction plane to bend this thing to. And it's a little hard to see in the preview window, but you can get a kind of good idea here. So I'm specifying a point and it's deforming my geometry based on where that point lands and an arc that's completing that line. So if I move this close enough to my geometry, I'm going to actually disable object snaps for a second. I can actually make this thing fully bend over on itself.